All right, how'd we do on this log? Pretty good. One end of it was kind of shaky. I think we, you know, like four feet of it was just split in apart due to pressure from the way the tree grew. Hemlock's one of the few woods that get shaky where you, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, it gorgeous beautiful log. Outside, but yeah. sometimes inside it isn't. You take like, uh, you get some real nice meaty boards, and then yeah. all of a sudden, there's they just a crack. Split, yeah, they just split. It's so weird. But I, I wanted to talk a little bit of why. You've probably seen me pick up my axe every once in a while and start chopping at the back on the log and you're probably saying to yourself, what the thunder is he doing? <laughs> well, what I'm doing is during the skidding out process, uh, the log on occasion will pick up dirt from the ground and the back on both pine and, and especially hemlock is really coarse back and it picks up a lot of dirt from the ground if it's dragged any length and it gets right into the back so what I do is try to figure out where that blade is coming through and just take off some of the back that may have dirt in it which will dull the blade just instantaneously so uh, that's why I do that uh, probably you think I'm a little nuts but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it helps. I found in the past that you got to do it, otherwise you you chew up blades like crazy. It helps because this blade, man, we're way over. Oh, this we're, we're way overextended yeah. on this blade, but it's still cutting yeah, beautifully. Yeah, it's cutting good. Yeah, so, I don't think we had any yeah. bad cuts. No, no, and I think this is one blade that uh, my son Greg took over to the Amish, and they sharpened it. No for kidding. Us. Well, they know so what they're doing. They know what they're doing. So. Yeah, we've got a lot of wear out of that blade. How'd we do on this log? I've already forgotten what we took off. <laughs> we well, were looking we, we were looking for a six by six. Did we we got we that? We got that. We and, got uh three, four, two by fours. Uh we got a two by eight yeah, for sure. Right. Sixteen and a, footer. And a uh, two by six. Six, by six. six by, so we got a two by eight, a six by six, and one three two, three, three two by four. Four. I think there's another one there's under there. Oh yeah, four, four. So we got four. four solid two by fours and then we got a two by two that we could use for stacking or whatever else yeah so we didn't do too bad on that log i was hoping no. for a little more but no we didn't have a lot of waste either i mean if you yeah if you take your time you know this isn't a commercial production <laughs> mill obviously as you can see they're not paying us for production right so but you know if you take your time you can you can get a lot more out of a piece of uh, wood than you think you can out of yeah. a log and uh, so that's why sometimes we jack up one end or the other because you know the log obviously tapers from big to smaller and uh, that really helps you get more out of out of the log yeah and then this one we actually had to roll I think an extra two times to make right. sure we got the, the maximum out yeah and the right but, piece we wanted but uh, we did it and I think this is a doggone good time to call it. Call I it agree. Today. It's over it's, 90 degrees. It's going to be over 90 yeah. degrees. And uh, the little uh, videotaper here keeps uh, going out because of the heat. Yeah, if you guys get mad at how choppy this video is, uh, it's uh, the GoPros are not good in the heat, and they kept overheating and shutting off. And if I noticed it, I'd turn it back on. But yeah. I don't know. Just one of those things. Yeah, it's too, it's too cold in the winter to run the thing, and it's oh, too hot in the summer. Oh, man, you can't be pleased. No. Oh. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to call it quits today, and hopefully we'll do a little more tomorrow. Nice. Um, we'll save this one, right? Yeah. We can stack wood on it. I thought that tree was going to be the best tree we've ever cut up. I know it. It's so funny. Yep, and then, like, look at look at how much these two separated. Like how much curls in this. Yeah, yeah, it went it went great. I'll show the folks at home how much curl that had. Wow, because it's touching down at this end. Right. And down here, now we can build with that. You know, you can still yeah. use it to build. Yeah. But you, you could cut around it too. Yeah. And on a plate, you can move it. Right. Like if it's a top plate. Right. Yep. Yeah, but but you know that this is the shaky end of the log. Is it usually the butt that's shaky? This it was the butt. Yeah, usually yeah. the butt's the shaky. End. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah. 
but because uh, those tops we cut weren't shaky at all right it, it, you could if you sight down this oh one, no i don't even want like a sweep in it down there <laughs> yeah that's it try that's probably trying to grow back to its natural right <laughs> i would say i weird yeah but the funny thing is you don't see that when you you the log may look beautiful yeah you know, and you get into it like this and uh this is what you find sometimes but the nice thing is we could take this log this two by four to home depot and sell it right now as a premium <laughs> as a premium two by four or actually probably a four by six yeah. by their measurements <laughs> oh yeah wow, that's pretty cool